Katie and today I will be doing a review on Fortune Cookie Soaps and they're a company that sells bath products, not just Fortune Cookie Soaps, but those are really their um, specialty I guess. They make these soaps which are shaped like fortune cookies but they're actually like soap. You can actually use them to like lather and they have different like colors and shapes. So I have their website up on my iPad. Oh it's upside down. Fortune Cookie Soaps. Sorry about the glare. If you can tell, I'm sorry there's kind of a glare, but you can see they have tons of different products and different things you can do on their website. If you click here and you look at all their fortune cookies, soaps, they have tons and tons to choose from, lots of different colors and shapes like I have the tiger, clementine ginger, um, cinnamon rolled, Cabaret, Buttered Popcorn Movie Night. They have some of the most unique products I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Like, they sent me some products here that I cannot, like, I opened them and I was like, oh my gosh, is this really used in the bath? Can you eat this? Like, it looks just like some of their products look good enough to eat, if you know what I mean. So, firstly, I don't want to say firstly because it's not really a word. They sent me this, um, little, like, Chinese thing and I don't know what it's called. Um, like the stuff that the Chinese comes in when you order it like from the Chinese place. I don't know. It's a little Chinese box and inside it's the cutest little soap I've ever seen. I'll have pictures up in my blog so I'll have pictures and stuff but inside it has a little like fortune almost and it says fragrance not nature's chill pill. So this is nature's chill pill. If you think no one notices you try missing a couple of baths. So they have cute little sayings and stuff so this one is just purple and it has some white in it it is like the prettiest soap I've ever seen. And secondly, another, um, the second bath, like the fortune cookie soap they sent me was this one. And I need to find what the, it's called. I'm not exactly sure where the package is for this, but I'll put the name of this soap up here once I get it and the information, all the information will be in the down bar and all pictures of my blog and everything. So you guys will definitely have a lot of information about this. So I've used this three times, I'm pretty sure, two, three times. Um, it lathers really well and you can actually smell on your skin like this smell, like after you take a bath. Like sometimes some soaps, like you'll use it and then like right when you get out of the bath, you can't even smell it again or anymore. But this soap, you can smell smell it 24-7, let me tell you that. And this one smells like pears. Like, legitly, kind of more like a, like a artificial pear smell. And then this one, forgot to tell you, smells like lavender to me. And it's called Nature's Chill Pill. Next, they sent me a, next is a bath fizzy, and it's just a block. And it's lavender. It smells so much like lavender, like it makes me want to like take a nap. Like I got these products when I was sick and I don't know, it just made me feel like so much better that I can have something to look forward to, like taking a nice bath of the bath fizzy or with a nice cute soap. So this one is just like a regular block, but it just smells so good and you can actually see some things in it. Like I think that's like crushed up lavender, I'm not exactly sure. Here it says bath fizzy and it gives you the instructions on the back, which is great because, you know, um, I never know what to do with bath products. Like they, I love that they give the instructions because, I mean, what are you supposed to do? Just like plop this in and it gives you instructions, which is really just plop it in. But yeah, it's called Lady Lavender and it's purple. My favorite color in the whole entire world is purple. And it's just like the best smell ever. Like, ever. Next is the... This is a bath tea, and I was so excited to use this. Like, I haven't used it yet, obviously, but it's, like, in a little tea bag almost, but it's, like, a giant tea bag. Like, tea bags are usually, like, this big, and this one's, like, this big. Smaller than my hand, I guess. But it's called Romance Me, and the pro I had a problem with this when it came in the box. Um, this is kind of leaked a little bit, so I guess, like, it's all, s like, wet and slimy, but, you know, it's okay. The product is all that really matters, so... It tells me to boil um, water, then put the tea in it, and then like put it in the water, bath water or something. It gives me a little instructions. Again, this will all be on my blog or in the down bar too. So this smells really good. It smells like berry tea bag. Like if you go smell like a tea bag, but better, like better. So just imagine, just imagine these smells. I'm not that great at describing them, but they smell so good. So next they gave me the bath salts. On the back, it tells you how to do it, how to use them, um, which is great. Again, I like the instructions. And inside, usually I'm pretty sure they give you a scooper with this. I'm not sure why I didn't get one, um, but you can just 
like it tells you how like exactly like teaspoons like three to four tablespoons tablespoons so you can just go downstairs in your kitchen and get or upstairs in your kitchen if you have your kitchen upstairs and you can go grab a little measuring spoon and it has a perfect amount in there I don't know if you can see all the pictures of me might be my blog again I'm saying that over and over but it's just blue like a light baby blue color and there's like little like bath salts it's like the big salt that if you haven't crushed it up yet to put on your food it's kind of looks like that which is lovely. I'm so, I, I just love how creative this company was with their colors and stuff. Next thing is sent me one of their shampoo bars. Um, it's in Gin Gimlet. Gin Gimlet. And it's just blue and white. And it kind of reminds me of a cloud. I don't know, it just does. It's blue and white. I don't want to get it all over the place because some pieces, it kind of has like a um, waxy consistency. So some of it kind of comes off. And it smells like lavender again, but more like blue lavender, like, like, uh, it just smells like, actually kind of smells like Sprite, <laughs> like the drink. And then lastly, I have another bath fizzy, but this one has a better shape to it, I think. And it is called, it's in Trendsetter, and it's just this pink flower, and I think that is the cutest little thing. It reminds me of like Powerpuff Girls or something, I don't know, don't judge me. <laughs> I just think it reminds me of Powerpuff Girls because it's a little flower and it's pink and just a really light pink and it's just super cute. So this company was really sweet, had very great customer service. Um, some like somehow I just kind of had this feeling that this company's really close and uh, I actually did some research on them and I have my research downstairs so I'll put it in the down bar and stuff um, so go check out the, my blog I'll have all the pictures and my pros and cons will be down in the down bar um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this review sorry that I have like this shirt on in a lot of videos because I'm filming multiple videos so yeah because I'm going away for a week so I hope you guys enjoyed this review I give this um, company two thumbs up I can give them ten thumbs up I can give them two thumbs two toes up whatever but um, I really like this company very impressed with all the products and I hope you guys do too if you guys can test it out go check out their website everything will be in the down bar and I'll talk to you guys later so bye